hi guys welcome to next step with cherry so i am so excited because the last time when we talked about denmark a lot of us uh felt like it's a very good opportunity because it's a way for you to gain some sort of work experience in europe and also for you to be able to transition into other visa and i, I was talking with a friend of mine from uganda that is currently in germany who also went through this particular opportunity that we are going to talk about she's currently a nurse and she's living in germany so i've done video with her before uh, and then she also explain this process and she told me that a lot of people from Zimbabwe, Uganda, Zambia, South Africa are moving with this particular opportunity and that is voluntary opportunity. If you think that I'm lying, I want you to go to this YouTube and type I moved to Germany through voluntary opportunity and or voluntary visa. You will see or volunteer visa. You will see a lot of people that have made visa that made video about that that have actually moved to Germany through this visa. Why do I like this particular visa or this opportunity? The requirement is very very low compared to other visas that you can see in Germany. It does not require any degree. It does not require any diploma. It does also not require any age restriction. The only thing is that people that are below 27, that is 18 to 26, there is a particular type of program they will apply. And people that are above 27, there is a particular one they will apply. So you don't need to, you cannot mix it. I'm going to write it on the screen. You don't have to mix it together or you are not supposed to mix it together. And then another important thing as well ability to transition your visa to any visa that you want so like a job visa or vocational study visa or master's visa or bachelor's visa you can be able to transition it you to any sharing in germany will also give you the work experience that you need for you to be able to get a job and also improve your german language skills for you to be able to get like any job that any type of job that you want because you can speak the german language and you also have the work experience that is needed and it lasts from the minimum is six months and the maximum of 12 months so this is about this particular voluntary opportunity now the good part is that she sent me links of uh, organizations that people are coming through with and i'm telling you guys i checked this it is like it has so many job opportunities and they are I mean, they are targeted to provinces or states in Germany. So you need to select the state that you want to apply and people are really applying for this opportunity. So I'm going to show you how you can go about it because it's in German. So it's a, it's a bit tricky to find the apply button. So you guys need to stay to this video because I'm going to show you, I think about five. And another thing you need to also know is about the language requirement. Actually, there are some opportunity that does not require you to have language requirement, but the embassy need you to have some sort of language certificate so the thing is that the lady told me the opportunity in healthcare sector in agriculture sector in uh, ecology sector or something and in education sector so she said that a lot of people are going through education and healthcare they are the ones that are in demand they are the ones that need people and they are the ones that people are getting selected from then elderly care age care disability cares you know carer they are also needed for voluntary opportunity you might ask what about proof of form actually some of these organizations you don't need to see visa sponsorship because it's written clearly that this is for people for uh, Germans and also for international applicants which means that everybody can apply for this particular opportunity you just need them to be able to give you the contract that you need and you can apply for this visa now for the uh now the requirement is that you have to have accommodation the, the some projects will give you accommodation and they will also give you monthly uh pocket money but when you apply for your visa you need to prove because the first month that you will come in they're not going to pay you till the second month how it works with salary so you need to have like proof of fund to prove that you can sustain yourself until you start receiving salary so you need to prove that except you are not receiving monthly income that is where you need to prove your proof of fund. so guys without wasting time let me go to my laptop so i will show you guys how you can apply where you can apply and further information please click on the like button and please guys subscribe to my channel if today is your first time seeing my face thank you so much for stopping by please subscribe to my channel and also share this video in your group share with your friends and share also to anybody that you think that this information will benefit so guys let's go guys, to my laptop so we are going to go into this i'm so excited to find all this because i think that it's going to make our moving abroad more easier i guess because it's a paid opportunity and uh, it does not really like have age limit i mean like I, I explained there are different ones that different age is going to apply so if you are under 
27, you are going to apply for BSJ and FSJ. And if you are above 27, you are going to apply for B, uh, BFD and FOJ. So number one that we are going to see is this one that have like for BFD and FSJ, that is for people above 27 to 99 years and people below 27. So I really like this page because I really like this website. It is very detailed. And once you click on this BFD, you are going to see a lot of like different states in Germany. You are going to see like different offers. And before we go about it, I want to show you something. So if you come here, if you come here, I'm going to show you because don't wait to see visa sponsorship or anything. If you find an offer that have all the requirements you want to go for, please go ahead and apply it because this, it, they said it does not matter who you are, where you're from, that if the person wants you they are going to employ you it does not really matter so i'm going to go here you see basic german language are often sufficient but you have to have money like i said for your uh, proof of fund they're going to tell you how much you're gonna like for the proof of fund thing so it is open to internationals including those from non-eu countries and offer for men and women of all ages a commitment to the good common in germany usually for one year minimum of six months maximum of 24 months so this are what this is just what i want to show you guys Okay, so here is here it is so if you click on this bfd it's going to show you different cities in germany you just need to select the one you want to go for so if you are 27 years above 27 you only need to apply for bfd bfd but if you are below 27 there are ones for below 27 and 27 can also apply for the rest of the other ones like below 27 can also apply for but if you are above 27 you cannot apply for the one made for below 27 i hope that is clear so now i'm just going to click on for example i'm just going to click on hamburg so bfd in hamburg and it's going to show you this it's going to show you the latest applicant for bfd social year you're going to see that and here are the vacancies available in hamburg at this moment so you just click on to offer once you click on to offer it's going to lead you to somewhere like this you have to translate it to english so i'm going to translate it to english so that you can read everything that comes with that and once you scroll down more you will see the email address so you see the email address of this institute and that is who you are going to send an email this one is for with email you are going to send an email to them you are going to attach your cv your cover letter you need to read it attach your cover letter if you can speak german german language please write it in german language write the cover letter that is motivation letter in german language why they should choose you and then your cv as well so this is how you can see if you just click on this bfd you see a lot of them in berlin as well they also have in berlin so you can as well select the one for in berlin and you are going to see the different offers that they have available in berlin so we are going to see another one as well i have a lot of them open here here so uh, yes and we are going to see this this is ij ijgd this one is mainly for people below 27 so this one is mainly for people below 27 but they also have opportunity for people above 27 so if you see it you see 27 to 99 years so here they have voluntary social year in science in technology and in sustainability if you go up you'll see one in ecology and federal uh, voluntary service so anyone this is for educational institute and course environmental protection or organization so you can work in farm in educational institute and then this is for democracy and public life and this is for other other ones for uh, health for health in care home like a carer a caregiver uh, in care homes age age worker and all of them so you're just gonna for example we are going to use this one if i want to go for uh, health related i'm gonna click on inform now so once you, this is for people under 27 remember so once you click you will see the requirement this is offer for people 15 to 26 years and then you read every information that is needed here and once you scroll down more you will see the areas that this opportunity is for it is for disabled care worker uh, age care worker and other things so you click
click on general condition and then you can click on here so once you click you see application you need to select the state you want to work in so i'm just going to select hamburg for example so they, they say that hamburg social year blah 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 for that information and application you click on this so once you click on this it will lead you to where you are going to make your application so if you scroll down more discover the job site blah 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 and here you will see apply now and you can start your application so this is for the one in healthcare if you are in the like 27 and above remember that you have to click on that one that says 27 to uh the one that says 27 to 99 this one so this is for people that are above 27 years you will see your offers here in different areas so you can apply now another one that you are going to see as well i'm going to find it so here is another one it is caritas so caritas also offers this voluntary service uh you can see volunteering and you see browse here for voluntary positions that suit your skill and they also have voluntary social year fsj this is for people below 27 fsj or bfd so you click on here if you browse here you will see the vacancies just click on scroll down you see seek seek you click on it and then you will see the vacancies that are available so they have 154 offers so for example you see this one child care during german course you just click on more information so once you click on more information click on contact us after you've read everything and you will see the place to put your information so that is it how you can apply for this one so this one is more of you go to this place and then you click on more information now another one that i want to show you guys is uh let me find it another one that i want to show you guys is hamburg this is i like this one it is straightforward so for this if you want to volunteer in hamburg they have like uh they have like offices this place just click on it tackling a wildlife support for children if you want to volunteer like for support for child and youth work or involvement in the cultural sector you click on it this one for foresters you click on it anyone you want to you click on that so for example for child support if you click on that you read about that blah 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 and here is the email address the person you are going to contact so you are going to send an email to this person so there is also another place there is also another place that so here is the the the, the home page of this hamburg so you can see it about the volunteer opportunity what is bfd what is fsj foj so fsj is for people below 27 and fsj is for people below 27 and foj is for people above 27 so if i go here see places of use places that i need of fsj and bfd so once you go down you will see this place is in need of that you click on that to know more about this company so if you just click on it if it is clickable you click on it it will lead you to the website of the company and then of the place and then you read the list little bit about it you read a little bit about it and then you can be able to send an email so you can see and here you can click on apply now and then you can be able to apply directly if you don't want to send an email so i would also suggest that you apply directly just apply directly so here you apply immediately apply for august september 2023 or so you need to select the area that you want to apply for so another one that uh, i also want to show you guys is this uh this one it is called uh it is also caritas it is another caritas so this one i like it because it has for 27 plus so if you just click on this 27 plus you will see about job like if you're above 27 you can apply for this voluntary opportunity this one is quite simple just click on search application because they have a lot of application let me show you so if i click on job search if i click on job search you will see a map so you see this map you will see this 443 this 445 these are places that i need of voluntary workers so once you click on 445 if you click on it to be zooming so you will see that a lot of places you can you yourself can select it and then you select the place you want so you see th there is a name and there is also like this is a school it's a kindergarten that you just you just have to copy it but if you don't want to go through this stress just click on that application click on application and once you click on application you go here and you start applying you upload your cv they will help you to connect you with a voluntary opportunity that 
position that is looking for voluntary opportunity so please make sure that you've checked the ones they have in education in healthcare, child care age age carer uh, disability carer please make sure that you check all of them before you apply then there is another one this one is also quite simple you just need to upload your document as well upload the information submit your cv also so it's quite straightforward and simple as well so guys with that we come to the end of this video these are the ones that you have to you need to apply for but please remember not to miss mix it up so you don't apply for the one that is made for under 27 so please read everything carefully so guys please share this video and click the like button please share this video click the like button see you on my next video bye